Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. We've got some things to do. New quests. The errand at the place of the sun. So, okay. All right, let's go see errand first. We'll get this. Uh, can I climb up any of this? No. Won't cost you a shot. Excuse me, thank you. Thank you. I'm not loitering, I'm moving. Look, see me see me run. Talk to Murad. Hey you. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Murad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King. Where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you, the machine tailor with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. Jell as much. Yep. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. <laughs> What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Alright, that sounds good. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Osiron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitula. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. Ooh, private chat with the Sun King. I'm honored. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval, exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asaron. 
Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. Then she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asuram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible, split an arrow at 50 paces, and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. <laughs> Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. Your politics seem... very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridia without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans and the Claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Aaron if you have further questions. Excellent. Ooh, what's this? Murad. Oh, more notebooks. Alright, where are we off to now? Jesus. Okay. okay. So I'm here. A bunch of new quests over here to do. Aaron. So, I thought Ursa was dead, and I thought Durval was dead. Dead doesn't seem to mean what it used to. Or maybe I'm just an ass. Whatever. All I know is that it's time to find my sister and get some payback. I hope Murad's guy grabs us the lead. Did Ursa ever tell you anything about Durval? 
Well, we were both under his command for a while. Sort of. Helped him recruit an army to take out the mad Sun King. But then he got real creepy with Ursa. Needless to say, she wasn't interested, but he wouldn't let it go. Not to mention the fact that we realized he wanted to murder every Karja, not just the bad ones. Long story short, he's a grazer-licking dumbbag. Avad seems committed to finding your sister. Yeah, those two got along. And some people say they shacked up, but I, I don't buy it. Seems a little skinny for her. <laughs> oh, okay, some bad images are forming in my head. Let's just focus on finding her. And kicking Durval's ass. I'd better go. Don't stand me up in Pitchcliff, okay? Ursa needs us. I won't. I will be there. Aloy, how can I be of service? It's obvious that you're an advisor to the Sun King, but what is it you do exactly? Whatever is needed, of course. Are you always so evasive? It depends. You were right about Avad. He seems genuine. He is the Sun King. I serve him the best I can. What else would you have me say? Huh. Did you serve the last one as best you could, too? Well, I served him to his enemies. It was the best I could do for the Sundom. What did mm -hmm. you do? Nothing I could be blamed for. Sounds to me like you're a spy. There are many helpful voices in the Sundom and beyond. I like to think of myself as a good listener. Mm. So why do they call you Blameless Maraud? Well, it depends on who you mean by they, and what they might wish to blame me for. <sighs> Talking to you is tiring. So they say. What will I find at the border? An outpost full of Osaram, most of whom want nothing to do with Durval. Still, he inspires great loyalty in those who fought with him against the last Sun King. He will not be caught alone. And don't forget, he is a master craftsman. Nothing delights him more than his dangerous toys. What makes you so sure Durval did this to Ursa? I don't care for sure or certain. I prefer likely or probably. How many Osirum are clever enough for this ruse? Capable of building the weapon you described? Who hate Ursa so? More than one? Not likely. Durva, quite probably. Even if people think he's dead? That is surely another reason to be suspicious of certain words. I have to go. Then you must. Oh, yeah, talking to him is tiring. I agree with you, Aloy. I need to remember there's plenty of things to scan around here. Hey, lads. Hey, noble douches. All oh, right, okay. I thought you wanted to have a conversation. Never mind. Ah, oh, dear. Oh, how did I miss all of these? God, they're quite easy to miss. Someone around here to talk to. Or oh, there's someone over there to talk to. Alright. Don't mind me, I'm just stealing all your stuff. Oh, I can't go up there. Oh god. 
boss said he lost another caravan to machines last week. Docked my wages. Where are these people? Alright. Hmm. You're an outlander. Nora from the look of you. I'll bet you're a machine hunter too. I've hunted my share. Well, let me give you a word of advice. Don't bother with the hunter's lodge. If you're not Karja, you'll never rise in the ranks. What's wrong with the hunting lodge exactly? Nothing, if you like stuck up bigots. I'm known as a skilled hunter back home in Banur, so I thought I'd try my luck at the lodge. I thought it'd be simple. Hunt machines, gain ranks, see who's best. But it doesn't work like that at all. It's all rigged to keep the Karja at the head of the line. <laughs> I don't need those snobs to tell me I can hunt. I'm going home. Are you saying that you have to be Karja to join the Lodge? No, they take other tribes. But they have rules in place to keep outlanders from gaining ranks. When Sun King Avad took over, he promised the new day, Meridian, open to all. But it's a sham. Sure, you can get a seat at the feast, but you just can't eat the food. Sounds like someone needs to shank things up at the Lodge. Maybe, but it isn't going to be me. If you decide to go, be sure to give them a good old-fashioned Banuk farewell mark in my honor. A Banuk farewell mark? What's that? Piss on the floor. Preferably someplace they won't find it until it gets nice and sour. Delightful! Check out these words over the city, and I can't find what I'm looking for. Nora, please, I need to speak with you. All right, hello. You're the one the Vanguard has been crowing about. The Nora who tracks criminals and traitors with her second sight. If only you'd use it to help me. A thief raided my home and took my brother's sword. Tell me about the robbery. Don't leave anything out. It was brazen and professional. They took only the sword, my most valuable possession. The thief went out through the window and scared the shadow off my steward. Otherwise, it would have been a clean getaway. Why would someone steal the sword? It's priceless. Made from the burnished antler of a lancehorn, finely inlaid with studded stones all down the... Uh, okay, I get it. Forgive me. That's not even why it's important. The Twelfth Sun King gave it to my brother for his military service. He was killed in battle during the liberation. I was saving it for my nephew who stranded at Sunfall with the Karja in shadow. How did your nephew wind up in Sunfall? Most of the old clergy backed the Mad Sun King, so when he fell, they ran out of fear of retribution. As an honor guard to a venerable priest, my nephew had no choice but to go with them. Now that my brother is gone, my nephew is my heir, so that sword really belongs to him. And after all he's been through, I won't be able to look him in the face if I don't get it back. I'll see what I can do about the robbery. Have a word with my steward if you need to. He saw the thief escape. And listen, all I want is the sword back. Meridian, and my family for that matter, has seen enough strife already. If I can get it back, all is forgiven. No retribution necessary. Fair enough. Alright, let's uh, get some of these out of the way. Oh, you're the steward, eh? You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in grey, clutching the sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. You're in for a treat. It's quite a show. Drops of blood feeding away. That was better last week. Ah, here we go. No, I'm good, thanks. 
I'm on a mission. More blood. I'm still on the trail. Still more blood. If you've got cut trailings here. Won't cost you a shard just to look. You'll like what I have for sale, I promise. Guess they haven't heard. A long day today. Only the finest goods here. See for yourself. You there, Outlander? Do you have relics to trade? Don't pass up these goods. Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. Go to the base of the stairs. Leave the rest. I've got all the best goods here. Oh, wonderful. Uh, it's not where I want to go to. Is it? Yeah, it's down here. Okay. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. I swore I'd ask her to marry me on a sunny day. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. King of Odd's decree brought that merchant's stall would have been a convenient drop-off. Alright, back to the merchant, then. Stopping when you're in the thick of it. You won't find better wares. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. But all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay. Guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Oh, it's gonna be another one of these. Oh, that's... Campfire, that's fine, don't need to worry about that. Didn't realise I was out of ammo. Come to me, lifty boy.
Bloody hell, in your own time, come on. Nice and bright out. Isn't it just? Strike the pose, Aloy. Machines or bandits try to get past me. Oh, the fight. Mark my words. Oh, out the way, kid. I'm um, good, thanks. I don't need wares. So I'll just talk to over there, but I'm on a mission. I wonder if, I'm, if I if there's an option where I give them the shards they need and can take the sword back. Okay, it's over here, is it? Yeah, it tends to happen when you go swimming with your shoes on. Yeah, grab some supplies. I did make a lot of arrows. Ah, did you hear the one about the boar, the grazer, and the sun priest? I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them, of wealth and contentment while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. Oh. I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner, Nassan, disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. Always stay bright, always stay alert. That's what I say. Good words of advice. Bloody hell, this mission's going on a lot longer than I thought it was going to. Right. Uh, can I fast travel? Yes. I need to go kill some animals so I can get more supplies to make more of those. I'm kind of hesitant to skip these side missions because I don't know 
if there's alternative endings, like if there's a good or a bad ending to this, so... Hey Fox, I'm gonna do as many as I can. Just, just to cover my own ass, really. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma Later. This has been Horizon Zero Dawn, and I'll catch you next time. Take care now.